Hi guys, and as usual, welcome to another kit review. So today, as you can see, we're having a look at a kit from Tamiya. It is Tamiya's Focke-Wulf 190. This is uh, either the F8 or F9 version. This one also includes a bomb loading set, which means that you get two ground crew figures and a bomb trolley. So the bomb comes with the kit itself, the aircraft kit. So you can either have it mounted on the trolley or on the aircraft. Really nice artwork. This actually shows the F9. It has underwing bomb racks and a bulged canopy. The F9 was based on the A9 Focke-Wulf. The F8 was based on the A8 Focke-Wulf. If you're wondering why the different um, A variants, simple, as the war progressed, they needed to add more and more ordnance to the aircraft so they were basically moving the engine forward by 50 to 100 millimeters changes the center of gravity means you can actually carry more bombs whatever without the aircraft becoming really bad handling etc so really nice this is the fifth rendition of the focke wolf 190 f4a variant the original came out in um 94 with the A3. Tamiya has also produced three of the D9 Focke Wolf 190s. The latest one is this year, 2023. That one has come out with a Citroen 11 CV staff car included in it. So that's one to keep an eye out for. So as I said, this is kit number 61104. Came out in 2008. Right, so let's have a look. The box art is really nice. I do love the box art on this one. On the sides, you'll see an F8 and an F9. You get markings for three Focke Wolf 190s. On the other side, you'll see the actual kit itself with the ground crew. Another photo just here showing you how it's all put together. And a fairly straightforward, typical Tammy kit, really nicely done. So this one cost me around $28 Australian. Um, I've never actually seen this one for a long time. So when it came up and it was cheap and no one else bid for it on eBay, I had to have a go of it. All right, so let's have a look in the box. Little slip of other Tamiya kits in 148 scale. This is what I actually like about Tamiya. This is a 148 scale camouflage print. So you can actually copy that. If you wanted to, you could cut it out, but they never used straight lines on these. It was all um, rough lines. So that is really nice though, 148 scale. Very comprehensive decal sheet. And this kit also includes canopy masks as well. You'll have to cut them out yourself, but at least they have included masks for all the clear parts, which is really nice. Thank you, Tamiya. Instructions, of course. And this bag of sprues is the bomb loading trolley with the ground crew. You do get a couple of different propellers in this. One is for the F9, one is for the F8. One bag of clears. One bag which has the main fuselage and the wings. This is the lower wings. And the other bag has the pilot, upper wings, engine and cockpit tub, etc. And that's it. So in a second we'll have a look at the instructions and the decals. So let's have a look at the instructions. We'll put the decals, etc. aside for now. And we'll put that aside. So usual Tamiya, photo of the actual kit on the top. You have, of course, a brief history of the Focke Wolf 190 in four different languages, English, German, French, and Japanese. Recommended tools, overleaf, usual cautions and precautions. This is, of course, your paint callouts, all Tamiya colours. So you will, of course, use your preferred supplier for your paint schemes. 
and then we get straight into it and you'll notice this is the cockpit tub with the instrument panel you do have decals for the instruments i'll show you the those to you shortly this is your pilot you don't necessarily have to use the pilot you can leave him out if you want a better view of all the details in this particular cockpit. Then we carry on with the fuselage halves, the front of the engine, the tub goes into the fuselage. This is the bottom of the aircraft with the undercarriage bays. So there are colour call outs all the way through, so you will have to keep an eye on those. This is where you actually put in the holes in the wings so be very sure of what particular ordnance and what particular variant you're going to build before you start cutting holes in there because you do have quite a selection upper wings going onto the bottom part then you've got the wings going onto the fuselage the front cowling going on Top of the cowling and the tail planes. Undercarriage. So you could have the undercarriage up. There is that facility in it. But uh, you will have to do a little bit of fiddling. Note that there are decals for the um, undercarriage doors. That need to be applied after you've painted it. So it is quite a comprehensive decal sheet for this. Undercarriage goes on. This is what I like about Tamiya. It does actually show you the angle at which the undercarriage needs to sit. A lot of uh, manufacturers just go put these there, but they don't show you exactly what the undercarriage is supposed to look like. As you can see, the wheels sit forward of the wings and they are actually at an angle on the Fokker wall. Then you get to the ordnance, so you've got bombs, all right, you've got 80 centimeter rockets, sorry, 80 millimeter rockets, 80 centimeter rocket would be a massive rocket. Rockets and bombs, so it depends on what variant you're going to put together, how you want this armed. The F8s and F9s were ground attack aircraft, so you can load them up with whatever you like. Drop tank. Different types of bombs, centerline bomb or centerline drop tank, depending on what you want. So there are quite a few options for what kind of ordnance you want to put on. Then you get to your canopy. So this is the normal F8 canopy and this is the bulged F9 canopy. Another choice, same goes for what these are your propellers. So as you can see, it says A, B, C depending on which variant you're going to build. There's a different propeller as well. So then you have your canopy going on, propeller going on. This is a step for the pilot to get to the wing so he can climb in. Then you've got this. This is the wheel chocks that you actually get. So there's another thing. Because this has the bomb loading set, you actually get wheel chocks. How many kits include wheel chocks in their aircraft? Not many. Not many at all. I do like that. That's a really, really nice detail. So next we've got the bomb trolley itself. That's a fairly straightforward, easy build. There is a little bit of painting to be done, but nothing major. And then overleaf, it does show you how to fit. So this is a bomb that you can use fit it on the aircraft or leave it on the trolley. It does say when you're putting these ground crew together, you need to glue the arms where they will fit onto the trolley. So rather than build these guys separately, build the trolley, then put the guys together and then use the arms, glue the arms so they look like they're actually using the trolley. Apart from that, fairly straightforward. Then it just goes on to decals and painting. On the back, this is your basic decal positioning. As you can see, there's a lot of decals on this Fokker Wolf. So this one you need to pay a lot of attention to, but really detailed. I do like that. And that takes us to 
this sheet. Put that aside. So as you can see, this is definitely 148 scale. This is how big the aircraft is going to be in once you've built it. Does have some decal details and painting decal. Turn that over. These are the suggested paint schemes for a couple of them. This one is Northern Italy and this one is Hungary, 1944-45 uh, in the winter. So that would be very different. That's a normal camouflage scheme with white stripes on it. They also include a correction on markings for this particular Italian one, right? So obviously there's something wrong there. Good of them to put that in there. So you do get markings for three Focal 190s, depending on which particular one you're making, the F8 or the F9. All right, so that is the instructions. So next we'll have a look at these. So this is a genuine Tamiya paint mask. Okay. For the Focke Wolf 190. You will have to cut them because they're not cut. But for Tamiya to include these is really good. So I do like this kit. There's some really nice details I've seen already. Which means that this kit is definitely worthwhile picking up. I do love that, that they've included these. And now we'll have a look at the decal sheet. Now, not to upset anyone, it does actually include swastikas in this kit. So depending on what country you're living in, you may not get those. If you're in one of the European countries or one of the other countries in the world which has banned the swastika, you'll probably find that these have been cut out. But in this particular kit in Australia, we still get them. Really nicely done. As you can see, there are your cockpit instruments and all the different warning signs, including seat belts for the pilot. So if you don't include the pilot, you have got seat belt decals for the cockpit. But really nice comprehensive de decals on this kit. So I don't see a need for aftermarkets. You can go aftermarkets if you want to, but... I do love those really nicely done as far as the um, stripes are concerned I normally like to paint them but no reason why you can't use these so that is the decal sheet I will give you close-ups of all of this and uh, in a minute we'll have a look at the sprues So let's have a look at the sprues. You do get five main sprues with this particular kit, plus a separate engine nose section, which is uh, really nicely detailed. Let's see if I can get it in focus. It does have some really nice latch points on there. So that's the front of the aircraft. You do get two little poly caps for the propeller to make sure that it does go around. And we'll have a look at these. This is the clears, of course. Front of the canopy. Bulge canopy for the F9. Standard canopy for the F8. Plus the gun sight. Really nice and clear. Beautifully done. A little bit of cleanup around the edges required, but nothing major and nothing that um, makes these unusable. So I do like the way they've done that. And as I said before, you do get canopy masks for these particular sections. So there's your clear parts.
So the next sprue we're going to have a look at is this one, of course. This is the fuselage halves. This also includes your drop tank, your main wheels. It does have the instrument panel on here, plus rockets, bombs, etc. As you can see, all included on this one. This here is the front of the engine cowling. So let's have a look at that first. And it does have your attachment points that they would undo to take this off. Those are your undercarriage legs, your drop tank, and your main wheels, which do have a mold line, which will need to be taken care of. That is your fuselage half, of course. Really nice sharp lines on that. Really nicely done. That is one part of the instruments in the cockpit tub. You've got some bombs. There is the rest of the instrument panel. So you can paint them if you want to. Or use the decals. That's entirely up to you. That's the other half that sits in the cockpit tub. There are your 80mm rockets. And of course the other half of the fuselage. There's nothing to be seen inside because it does have a cockpit tub. But the detail is really nice and crisp on these fuselage so that one i do like really nice and not much clean up as far as flash is concerned so that is the fuselage halves sprue So next up we'll have a look at the bottom, bottom of the fuselage and the bottom wings and of course your undercarriage doors. Again really nice detail as you can see your flaps and ailerons etc are all fixed so there's no posing those not without a lot of work. That's the interior of the undercarriage doors and that even has some minor detail although you won't see much because of the um, main support and the wheel getting in the way but no flash and really nicely done so that's the bottom wings So next we'll have a look at the top wings. So as you can see, top wings, engine, interior of the undercarriage base. This is your cockpit tub, tail planes. This is the propeller for the F8. So there's your pilot seat with um, some nice fabric detail on the seat interior of your undercarriage bays engine which you won't see much of anyway so that's nicely done tail planes with some fabric wear and tear so to speak that's your bottom of the cockpit tub propeller wings just like the fuselage in the bottom there is a little bit of um, plastic flow, but you can't feel it, so it won't become apparent once you get to painting. But um, really nice detail. Very sharp. Let's have a look at the top bit tub. So you do have all of these sections go in, which are all your instruments. And don't forget that you do get instrument decals as well. There's your propeller. So you do get two propellers. 
so one can go in the spares box but overall that's really nicely done so that is your upper wings and your cockpit tub As I said, there's only, what, five sprues to this whole kit. So this is your, um, as you can see, ground crew, your loading set, your F9 propeller, and all the other accessories. So this is the main frame for the loading trolley, your extra big bombs, the ground crew who have separate heads and arms, wheels, as you can see the F9 propeller was very much a big paddle propeller, different specifications for performance but both of these aircraft the F8 and F9 were ground attack aircraft. So some really nice detail on there and I do like the fact that they've included the ground crew and the um, loading trolley etc with this kit so that's a, a bonus it's always nice to get a little bonus so even if you don't do a diorama you can actually just display it on your shelf with a little little bit more um feeling so to speak all right so that is the last sprue for this particular kit And that's it guys, that brings us to the end of this review. So that is Tamiya's Focke-Wulf 190F8 F9 with a bomb loading set. Came out in 2008, kit number 61104. If you like the focke 190, which is probably one of my favourite aircraft from uh, World War II, this is definitely one of those kits that you want, might want to keep an eye out for and pick up when they become available. So as I said, that brings us to the end of this review. I hope you got something from it. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions and your comments. They are always appreciated. And as usual, guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you later.